We're going to talk about lyric writing this afternoon and a few different facets of it. And I wanted to start by, with a basic talk about what I think makes up a good lyric. Uh, to me, move them, to make them laugh, to make them cry, to make them feel. It touched you, and it was about your life. Then there's certain things we have to do in our lyric writing to bring in the listener. Um, and one of the great things to me about lyrics that work are their combination of two components. One is imagery, and the other one is emotion. And let's expand a little bit on, on those two topics. Imagery, what do I mean by imagery? Well, so for instance, if you have, uh, if, if I have a song, I do have a song, a little boy wrapped around the legs of his mother. Can you see that? You know, you can just see the arms around at the legs of the mother, you know, and a little boy. And you picture, by the way, the things that people picture in songs, a lot of it's based on what your experience is and who you are. I always say we don't complete songs, the listener completes them. So the visual that you get from wrapped around the legs of his mother, some of you are thinking of like a three-year-old. Some of you are thinking of an eight-year-old. It doesn't really matter uh, in the scope of this song. The main thing that matters is that you see an image. Um, a lot of times the imagery is something that has some emotion built into it. Sometimes it's not. It's just scene setting. The other thing imagery does is it sets a scene. Uh, two friends of mine wrote a song called I Can't Make You Love Me If You Don't. You know that song? Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of imagery in that song. It's kind of a pop love song. It's mostly emotion. But there's two very important images at the front. And the, the song starts, turn down the lights, turn down the bed. Turn down these voices inside my head. That's the only imagery in this whole song, the turn down the lights and turn down the bed. And it's very important because to me, like when you hear turn down the lights, turn down the bed, turn down these voices inside my head, lay down with me. Really? Lay down with me where? On that bed that we just turned down. Tell me no lies, just hold me close, don't, comp don't patronize, don't patronize. You can't make you love me if you don't. You can't make your heart feel something it won't. Here in the dark, oh, it's dark? Why? We turn down the lights. In other words, the imagery is just supplying a setting where this entire song, which is really all emotion, takes place in this bedroom, in the dark, on the final night of these two people are going to spend together. Um, some songs have a lot of imagery. Let's do an example, Katie Curtis's song. Um, if, I don't know if you know the song, My Dad's Yard. Anybody know that song? Well, I'll give you the first verse. He's got an old chair. It's got no seat. Cracked snowshoes. Warped wooden skis. I'm going to stop there for a second. The only reason she gets away with all that imagery to me is the first word of the song. He's got an old chair. What if she said, an old chair, it's got no seat. Cracked snowshoes, warped wooden skis. Hardcover books, pages all turned brown. Are you, are you bored yet? It was like, yeah, nice use of the language, uh, but, you know, because those are really good images, by the way. Warped wooden skis, can you see those? You know, uh, hardcover books, pages all turned brown. I could see all that.